Hello, we are Team 23116. Today we will be discussing our senior design project, which involved creating a perfume manufacturing process. To begin, I will introduce the team. First on the left, we have John Burgeon, then myself, Chloe Soraka, next, Michaela Schilling, and finally, Cale Burke. We are all studying chemical engineering. Our mentor is Rodney Keith, who works at Sandia National Laboratories. Here's a brief overview of our poster we will be presenting on Design Day that highlights our major points we will discuss further in this video. In initial research, it was found that there was a lack of emphasis from current perfume manufacturing plants to power the plant with sustainable energy rather than being powered solely by the electrical grid. This is a problem and it led to our objective of creating a perfume manufacturing line that ran entirely on sustainable energy through the use of solar panels. This is also beneficial to the plant as it is a selling point to customers and allows eligibility for federal tax credits. In order to model and perform calculations for each unit operation in our process, assumptions were made based on research articles found that performed experiments. One of our major assumptions was how much essential oil was produced based on the amount of plant material and water required, as shown in the table. We chose to optimize the extraction process, and in choosing the best method to do so, we considered a variety of criteria including equipment, operating costs, energy usage, purity, environmental impact, and efficiency, ultimately choosing to use a steam extraction system. We also considered the constraints for cosmetic products from FDA and EPA standards in order to make a process and product that complied. The software used to help us complete our project were Microsoft Visio, a diagram drawing application, and Excel, a computational spreadsheet application. In this project, Visio was used to create the initial block flow diagram, which highlighted major unit operations and also the process flow diagram that went further in depth to visualize the entire system. Excel was used for process modeling calculations, energy calculations, and economic costing calculations. Our project relied heavily on Excel to model the chemical process behind the perfume manufacturing due to the fact that Aspen Plus, a dedicated chemical process simulator, was incapable of modeling the essential oil extraction via steam distillation. The perfume manufacturing process consists of four main steps. First is the collection of plant material. Second is the extraction and separation of essential oils from the plant material. Third is the blending of the ingredients, and the fourth and final step of the process is to age the perfume product. To increase the efficiency of the essential oil extraction, it is important to increase the surface area of the plant material. We intend to purchase the pre-washed and dried granulated orange peel zest and chopped cinnamon bark from an external supplier. This represents the first step in our process, which is the essential oil extraction by means of steam, which is a batch process that occurs simultaneously for both orange and cinnamon essential oil. A lock hopper system is used to load and unload the pots, which will be discussed further in the next slide. The pot uses an external heat source to initially heat the feed water for the first batch. After the steam begins rising to the condenser, the heat pump begins heating and cooling the process steam with the heater and condenser respectively. The desired refrigerant for this heat pump is R1336MZZ, which is very environmentally friendly with a global warming potential, GWP, of 2 and is not flammable. For perspective, R134A has a GWP of 1400. The heat pump consists of a condenser, a compressor, a heater, and a throttle valve. After the batch is complete, the water and essential oil mixture will be stored in a surge tank. Then the mixture is transported to the separator by a pump and control valve where the separation occurs due to differences in density between the water and essential oil. The floral water produced by the separator from each of these extractions will then be pumped into a single waste tank. Loading and unloading of the pot for steam extraction is done via a lock copper system. The raw material of orange peels and cinnamon bark must be ground up to increase surface area and efficiency of oil extraction and will be bought straight from a supplier. The ground up raw material is transported from holding tanks to separate systems for each via a conveyor belt system. With the first slide gate open, the material will load into the first lock copper. Once the weighed raw material is completely loaded, the first slide gate will close to avoid the hazard of contamination. Quality control tests before and after extraction will also be done to ensure plant material is free of contaminants and impurities. Once the second slide gate is opened, it will release the material into a pot where it will sit on a sieve tray. During extraction, to mitigate the hazard of high temperature inside the pot, which will evaporate or deteriorate the essential oil, temperature control loops with alarm set to turn off steam supply when a max temperature is reached will be implemented. After the batch is complete and essential oil is extracted and sent to the next unit operation, the last step is to remove the raw material waste. It will be dropped into the outlet lock hopper when slide gate 3 is opened and will be put into a waste tank using an outlet conveyor once slide gate 4 is open. In bonding to create the final product, the first mixer, M101, combines ethanol and water in the UV filter using gravity flow or pumps. It is important to note that ethanol is a hazardous chemical and to mitigate flammability, health, and environmental hazards while the vent and pressure relief valve installed with the mixer. The second mixer, M102, combines the separated cinnamon and orange essential oil as well as vanilla essential oil bought from a supplier and held in a tank. The final mixer combines the mixtures from M101 and M102 to be sent to the chiller. In typical perfume processes, the aging process can take anywhere between weeks and years to form wax precipitates. 
In this process, a continuous chilling step is used where the mixture must be cooled in the chiller at at least 10 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes in order to form precipitates. The membrane expected to be used is a polyether sulfone PES membrane. This membrane still needs to be sized according to the process. This will most likely be found in experimentation after the actual amount of precipitate formed is determined. Experimentation will also determine the osmotic pressure needed for filtration and thus the pressure the upstream pump will need to be capable of producing. As for cleaning the filter, hot water should be capable of moving, removing the waxes which are assumed to be paraffin waxes. Again, however, experimentation should be performed to determine the amount of wax produced. The perfume processing facility would require a supply of 280 kilowatts of energy. 5,827 kilograms of water are required by the process each day, and 8,882 kilograms of refrigerant are needed for the refrigeration cycles in the process. The facility will be powered by solar cells to minimize environmental impact. Based on the energy utility required to run the facility, it was found that 3.44 acres of polycrystalline silicon solar panels would be needed to run the process solely on solar energy. When conducting a life cycle assessment, it was found that lead batteries release significantly less emissions and require less resources to assemble in comparison to lithium batteries. Therefore, the decision to add 838.74 kilowatt hours of lead batteries for energy storage to the processing facility was made. The costs associated were approximately $482,000 for the solar panels and $1.725 million for the lead batteries. The final product is an eau de parfum, which means that 15% of the product is composed of essential oils. Breaking down the 15%, 6% is limonene oil from the orange peels, 4.5% is linalool from cinnamon bark, and 4.5% is vanillin, which comes from vanilla bean. The rest of the product is composed of 80% ethanol, 5% distilled water, and 0.5% ethyl hexyl methoxycinnamate, which is a UV filter that extends product life by preventing discoloration. Economic portion, if 1 million bottles are sold per year with a shelf price of $143, it was determined that sales each year is $80.2 million. The net yearly earning after accounting for operating expenses, utilities, maintenance, and property taxes is $18 million. Assuming straight line depreciation with 10 years of useful life for equipment, the net present value after 13 years will be $53.7 million when the investor rate of return is set at 20% as seen in the graph below. In order to break even after 13 years, the investor rate of return will be 50%. Some major economic hazards include market demand for perfume as they are luxury items and are the first to go in a recession. Orange peels and cinnamon bark are considered seasonal products and may be more difficult or expensive to obtain during off seasons. And finally, other perfume competitors may pose a threat to yearly profits. To conclude, the steam extraction uses approximately 190 kilograms of water 210 kilograms of orange peels, and 11 kilograms of cinnamon bark per batch, and can produce 80 gallons of perfume per day. It is cost-effective and environmentally conscious and would be a good investment to pursue. Additionally, the floral water and perfume wax could be further treated, adding to overall profitability of the process. As well, the process could be further improved with water treatment and research into waste allocation and treatment. Thank you.